Well, what's going on everybody this is fry so today we are playing uh round two of inscription love the first one this game is uh strategic it is a uh deck like or a deck building game not roguelike nothing roguelike about this game um the game is very dark but also self-aware and has a sense of humor i've been enjoying it very much i hope you guys will enjoy it as well we will just get right back into it as the stoat makes fun of us and we created a custom frame up card. Hopefully we'll encounter that. Here we go again is correct. We have another challenger. I'm the same guy as last time. Perhaps you can understand bones. Okay, so they're going to add a bone mechanic now. The resource is full of possum cost two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. So it could be when you sacrifice two. All right, so we know that there's going to be... Um, Alright, so we need things to die. I'm guessing when we're sacrificing, that's going to be it. Uh, we will play the Squirrel. And I guess we'll just play the Stoat. Now, he's going to play a 3-1 over here, which can kill the Stoat. It would be really nice to be able to block the 3-1. Block the damage. We could sacrifice the Stoat and then come back with the Opossum. It's a kind of a slow play, though. I'm just going to play Sto... Uh... You know what? Let's try this play. I'm going to play Stoat here. We're going to go face. From the death of your creature, you get a bone. Thank you very much. You will not lose it until the spent or until the battle ends. We're going to go face. We'll take the tank the three damage on the Stoat here. That was probably a stupid play. But now we can play the opossum. Uh, do we grab a squirrel? I'm gonna... Oh, we only have one card left in the deck. Oh, whoops. Alright, so let's play... Possum. And let's... De well, we don't need to develop anything. We don't have to play the squirrel yet. Let's go. We'll grab a squirrel next turn and we'll have another... Uh, So again, uh, if you don't know how this game is played, you have to pl uh, sacrifice creatures in order to satisfy the cost. The cost is how many creatures to satisfy your sacrificing scrolls. You can play, obviously, with no sacrifice. You use them to sacrifice. We'll go face for 3-2. Uh, nice, good aggro card. And uh, we're going to put some... Put some val... Oh, that was it. Okay, <laughs> easy. Easy first fight. You said, oh... I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. <laughs> he makes us do just menial tasks. It's beside the safe. Where's the safe? Here it is. Oh. We saw this before. Hey, what is this? Adder squirrel? What is this a portrait of? I'm confused. Anyway. Is this it? <laughs> I guess this is it. Fine, I got it, okay? God damn it. Let us continue. This guy's just power tripping. You do it for me. Um. Oh, we get to choose a card. We got the coyote. The meager coyote. What do you expect for only four bones? Interesting. See, it's a it, this this card actually was a little bit different last round before they introduced bones here. Rattler, brittle creature, once past its monstrous fangs. So six bones for a three one. It returns to your hand after dying. Unkillable. Okay. Let's just read this real quick. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in hand. It costs four bones. I'm just trying to think, like, if you play two squirrels, wolf, and the wolf dies, it's going to be really hard to be getting up to six attack. I'm going to go with the coyote, I think. This seems like it might be better later, but we just need some good base cards here. I don't like the bone system. You know, you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. 
We need a leap! We need a leap! Allows me I time to plan your next encounter. Uh, who's that? Thank you, Captain. Plasma. Whoops. I got a setup that I can read the chat. Okay, there you go. I can read it even though it's not on the screen. Okay. But do keep your hands off my possessions. What happens if we grab his stuff? He told me not to touch it. Is there a way to actually escape from this prison? What happens if we try to grab his stuff? I want to see. I didn't listen. I'm a bad boy. He's not gonna like that. I don't think we can really do anything here. Mighty Leap, a card bearing the sigil. What is this? Oh, this is like a thesaurus. Oh my gosh, what the hell? That's crazy. Anyway, let's play some let's play some cards. Let's go. It's bag time. So this kills a card, adds some damage, and makes something fly. I think snipping cards is pretty good. We have a squirrel and a fly that fly already. It's a pretty squirrel. Are you smart or something? Here's a tip. Saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. A passcode. Interesting. Maybe this is an escape room. Alright, so we got <laughs> in the rule book. We got Squirrel. So he's gonna go with a 1-2 and a 1-2. Um Squirrel, step. Fine. <laughs> Such a brat. And let's go. He's doing more damage than me. Right now, we don't have anything to eat a squirrel with, so I guess I'll just grab this. It is the wolf. I only have one bone. I can't really do anything here. So, we pass. Trying to balance out some of this damage here. Uh, I guess we grab a squirrel. Play a squirrel. Um. Play wolf. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. Play, probably playing Stoat in one of these two lanes would have been smarter. This will attack it, even though it's flying. Uh, we also have two bones, so we can go with the Awesome, which does one. The Coyote even need three, which... Uh... Alright. Let's... Let's spin the bag. Actually, this probably should have gone in a different lane. It's okay. We can still take one more damage. We'll be fine. You dead. So we need... I don't know what we need. This last card is just another wolf, right? Uh, we pass. We... I concede, he says. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. I say no way. What is this? What is he holding, though? Do we get a special thing? No, I want to finish it the slow way so we can get some overkill. Screw you. Bullfrog. What does this do? One sacrifice, one, two. Uh, I'm going to... I don't know how many more bones we need. I'm just going to pass. We need a leap! Does that win? Nope. I didn't want it to win either. 
Now we're gonna get overkill and we're actually gonna get some stuff. Thank you, Chompy, for gifting all these subs here. Heck yeah. Uh, Bullfrog's played here. If we get overkill... We need a leap! We need a leap! Uh, it gives us some resources for later, so we are definitely gonna grab the overkill and not take his surrender. Hell yeah. We can sell those little extra damage tokens later. We need later. a leap! We need a leap! Here we go. We get to pick a card. The omnipresent mole. It burrows and emerges we to block any landborn attacker. This is one of these ones that. What does it do exactly? If an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Nice defensive card. Its praying claws strike both the left and the right. Does it strike middle though? Looks like it only is gonna strike those two lanes. This looks like a pretty decent card, though. It's also able to correct things, bad trades that are happening in the lane. Oh my gosh, it's fry him up! We need a leap! It's fry him up! This guy has many lives. It also transforms. We need a leap! We need a leap! Thanks for all the subs. I gotta grab the fry him up card. Look at the sacrifice, and you can also sacrifice this as many times as you want. It doesn't die, and it transforms. That's awesome, man. Fry him up. Fry him up. By the way, I want to go look for the passcode now. Let's do it since he mentioned it. This is two seven three. It looks like there's a mighty leap. That looks like it's the. Uh, it's what we're looking for here. 273 is for this thing. Is for this thing. So we got 2, 7, 3. Oh snap! Hey! Stinky bug! Oh hello! I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is stowed around? This madness must end. Put that away, oh no. You saw me. I'll take the key though. He didn't like it. Well, let's go use the key. What do I get? Oh my gosh. The hell is this? What? This looks like a simulation of a game, though. There's lizards here. Oh, a five. What does this do? Oh, I can slide these up. What does this represent? I don't understand. It's a board. Of, it's the board of the game. I don't get what I'm even supposed to do here. Oh, this is going to be one attempt, I guess. I don't understand. What is this one? I feel like I only have a few chances to... These can't move. Wait. Why is this one stuck? I don't know. What is the idea here? If it has two attack... Are we supposed to... I don't understand this at all. Maybe this is a riddle, like, what order would the cards... If all four of these were on the board, how is it possible? Like, a 2-1 is a coyote, and these would be need a sacrifice. I don't know. All right, here goes nothing. What? It just says how much damage we would do? Oh, you just need to do five damage in the game. Okay, that was interesting. What's skink? 
I forgot I had put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck. And I'll deal with... I'll deal you one every so often. What does it do? One sacrifice. What's this thing with the lizard, though? I don't know. It doesn't die, maybe? Okay, how do we deal five damage on this board? So this can't move. Alright. Well, we need to deal... Three, four, five. That's pretty good. Ding, ding, ding. Wait, why only two? We're dealing one, four, five. What's the problem here? Are these blocking? For some reason, it's only hitting this. Like, what if we were to put these down now? So now it would be... One. Two. I just don't understand. If this was the card he was gonna play, and we're doing... This should be four. It looks like it's only one, though. Oh, zero. Um, I guess maybe you subtract these, so it's three, four, five now? Still don't get it. <laughs> I probably have to know what the symbol, what the lizard symbol means? Okay. <laughs> That's a great idea. I anyway need to know what this means. Lizard. Li what the heck is this? Mirror? This one has splattered. Bell ring. Oh my gosh. Where's the lizard? You must have an empty space on your side. The pain is temporary. Where is the lizard, though? I must have passed it already. Ants. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. That's pretty cool. I can't. I don't remember what direction I'm going. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Where's the lizard? Oh, here it is. Lose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, so this is like a desert lizards when they're attacked by a bird, they can detach their tail to get away. It's a survival mechanism, so. When it would be struck, a tail is created in its place, so there's something going to be blocking it, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. So, it's going to be able to escape. So again, if this is going to be, I guess it's always to the right no matter what side of the board. If this is struck, it's going to block this one. So what if we were to not attack with you? So now it's going to do five. There you go. <laughs> Guys, read the cards. You kind of just read the cards. What is this? We have worker ants. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. We'll add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. We're going to have a crazy deck right now. We're actually getting like all of these cards. 
Holy crap. So it's so a one and two? I don't know what that does though. Oh my gosh, there's two more challenges here. We got riddles. I feel like I don't want to do all the riddles on this run. We have like enough cards in our deck now. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to use. Let's continue playing some uh some of the game and we'll do the uh, escape room puzzles <laughs> later. Do we want to upgrade a card? Sacrifice a card. This is basically merging two cards into one. I know it's like sacrificing. We don't need items. Um, I like the I like the upgrade so far. What is plus two health? Stop this. Shut up. I don't know what this does. Ants. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. So every single ant you play, like this will first be a 1-2. Once you have a second ant, then it's going to make it more, more attack. So this is going to be a 2 sacrifice, essentially 1-3 for starters. The card bearing sigil is played and ant is created in your hand. So you're going to be able to play more ants and thus increase the increase the attack. Skink, what is this thing? It says, oh, <laughs> I fry him up. Cost two bones. Cool. Right, who do I want to attack, uh, increase here? What does the stink bug do? Creature, the creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses a power. Cool. Um... So we're adding health to something. It could be just to a wolf. The coyote might be a good answer too. What, what do we really need to survive? Um, something that has high, maybe high attack and low health. I'm gonna add it to the wolf, just so it's not so easily. It has high, high attack. I don't want it easily answered. Wolf, go for it. The fire warmed the weary wolf and enhanced its health. Heck yeah. Suspected intentions survivors were less than pure. With your wolf in tow, you retreated to the woods. Nailed it. <laughs> Why are there guys who... I don't know. Someone in the chat said that every once in a while they just eat your card, but... I'm good. I'm gonna try to only feed cards there that I don't need necessarily anyway. Uh, time to fight? You again. <laughs> they don't like each other. Our friend freed me? Well... I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here? You've gotta be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Anyway, he's gonna play Wolf Cup. And again, this transforms... I think into a 3-2? So, we would definitely like to... Um... I think kill this next turn, but we definitely have to have something in mind to kill that. Um, so for now, we have Squirrel Stoat. A oh, Squirrel Stink Bug. We could always grab a Squirrel and kill it. With the... no, we can't. Man, yeah, this is awkward. I wonder if we just pass here so we can kill this next turn easily. None of the neither of these cards are playable. I'm gonna pass. This doesn't transform now though, right? Now we don't even need a squirrel. We're gonna grab a card. It is worker ant. This will be a one two. I think the one three is better. This alpha leader. Creatures adjacent to this card bearing the sigil gain a power. All right, so we definitely want to kill the wolf cub first. I'm gonna play squirrel, and I'm gonna play. I'm gonna go for stoat. It's a little bit beefier. We'll play it here. Keep me alive, sure, whatever, whatever, bro. Uh, ring the bell. Be able to kill that before it transforms. I'd love if there was a way for us to do two damage now. Um, we're not going to be able to play... Well, we could develop the worker ant if we grab a squirrel. Which means we're going to be working on this coyote. Kind of need that answer for the wolf cub later, but... 
I don't think anything is gonna actually work here. All right, grab the squirrel. Let's start working on the... Worker Ant is two health, so it's gonna be able to actually tank one from the alpha and actually kill it next turn. So let's do it like that. Worker Ant, work on the alpha, and uh, who knows? Can we get some damage to face? Start killing the alpha. Again, I would like, if possible, if we could kill this wolf cub here. There's nothing to sacrifice a squirrel for. Let's fry him up. Oh, geez. Uh, this actually costs two, unfortunately. Really, really strong card. I think it's going to be worth it because it's going to be allow us to develop some more things later. So I'm actually going to play this by Stoat. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is the one that's the real threat, so we got to take it out. Fry him up. Uh, Stinkbook can actually be developed now since we killed those, so yeah, that'll be worth it. Heck yeah. Stinkbook. What did he say back in the game? <laughs> Heck yeah. Alright, so we're able to clear his field. And again, this transforms to a 4-6, so it's just a monster. He doesn't have cards left. Uh, so let's just try to... Just try to... You can't... Can you really... Can you see the score? We have like one bone on the side. I have no idea how many we even have. Oh, that this is the rule book. It's always here. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's grab card. Skank. That's just the escapee, escapee boy. Uh, attack. I don't think we win, so we'll be able to get plenty of overkill next turn. Now, it's probably just you grab squirrel, you play squirrel, you sacrifice squirrel. You play Stink. Coyote's not even be playable, but we'll take a ton of, a ton of overkill here. We got like three extra. Three extra bones! Here's the trapper. We can get some pelts. I have the most exquisite pelts I've. First one's free. Thank you very much. So we have uh, seven. So we can grab like a golden pelt. Let's go. Hell yeah. Much appreciated. Do we want to combine two cards or upgrade something? We really do have a lot of cards in our deck. I'm gonna go for, I think, well. This is going to be based on cost. Here's based on the actual card. What is this? Is this like a boss? This guy looks cool. I want to go for that guy. We're going to go for upgrade. I'm not really... I don't really know what the... Um, it's sacrificing a card. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us. Enhance its power, said another. <laughs> That's just no. <laughs> uh, what would we like to make stronger? Bullfrog could probably use a buff. I also wouldn't mind this being out of the deck. Sacrifice cards are actually stronger. We haven't really been able to develop the coyote at all. <laughs> Which maybe is why we shouldn't be. Let's go for the let's go for the bullfrog. Why not? This is gonna be able to block things. So maybe extra attack. It's not gonna be good. Actually, well, let's go with skink. I like it. Firewarm the skink and enhance the power. But I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't seem like they ever eat it. So <laughs> maybe I'm just lucky. What do we get now? Alright, it's a mini boss. So this says that... So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory. In the flash. Flash. We still don't really know what this does. People are saying I should save it and sell it later, but it looks like... Okay, so anything that is a dog is going to be moving. I'm pretty sure it tries to move to the right, bumps into a wall, and then switches directions. 
if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so we can develop Bullfrog. What does Porcupine do? It's a card bearing the sigil of Struck. The Striker is then dealt a single point of damage. That's a little bit of recoil. Uh, we want to be able to kill the Coyote for sure next turn. Uh, but we're not going to... Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't remember how this works again. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move the directions grabbed by the sigil. Pretty sure this is going to be played. And at the end of the turn, it's going to bump into this wall. It's going to attack, bump to the wall, and then it's going to attack and, and and then move here. Pretty sure that's how it goes. Um, Let's develop this bullfrog, because why not? We gotta get some bones anyway. Attack. It actually does move on the first turn. I love how the bullfrog is killing this, which is really nice. So what do we what do we draw now? Um I guess we'll draw a card. We can also sacrifice a squirrel just to get a bone. And then be able to develop the stink bug next turn. I'm not going to be sacrificing those. Is that worth it though? Probably better to sacrifice your squirrels to actually summon things, right? There's a wolf, so we have to pass. That dies. Take one and one. <sighs> Probably sacrificing the bullfrog, since it doesn't really do a lot, is good. So let's grab a squirrel. The card in our hand, again, the stink bug, is one, two. That'll actually negate the attack of the sparrow pretty well. So let's play squirrel. Play wolf. We'll sack the bullfrog. We will attack this. We're still going to be a 3 1, which is pretty good. Oh, it's a 3-4, I forgot. And now we can play Stink Bug. Um, it'll have- it'll die to the Porcupine, so let's take out the Sparrow. You say good play. And here we go. So it takes one point, still 3-3. Three, three. Great Wolf, though. The Wolf is a really powerful card here. Um, a card. Stink needs a sacrifice. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Love to see it. This also negated the one attack. So good. I still don't know what the golden pelt does. What does this card do? It just adds three health to something. Uh, let's go. We're, we're, we're doing quite well here. We'll take one point back. He doesn't have cards left, though. Uh, and this, again, is a... Is the stink is a... Skink is a 2-2. Two, two. So we sacrifice you. Place here. And we clear his board. Get three more damage. I think three damage just wins anyway, right? No, it doesn't. Coyote. Anyway, we get plenty of overkill here. He just only played like three cards that game. Yo, Dave. I'm not using any of my items. It's just been completely unnecessary. So we will either grab the Industrious Beaver when play to constructs dams adjacent to it. Very interesting. Zero power, two health. This costs two. Pretty low stats for a two cost card, but it's a defensive card. It just allows you. I don't know. I don't. I'm not really a big fan of these defensive cards. I just like <laughs> the high power. A nascent raven. It has no less cunning in its incubation. What? So this again, you play it, it's a 0-2, more powerful form, I don't know what it is, but it seems kind of cool. And we got Elk. I've been so unimpressed by the Elk. So Beaver for the defense, or Egg, I'm gonna go with the Egg, it looks cool. I like the Transform cards. They're not great in developing or, or defense, but they, anyway. <sighs> Alright. 
Yeah, it's kind of like the wolf cub, I guess. The, it starts as a 1-1. One, one. We'll see what the raven actually turns into. I'm guessing some kind of two-cost flying card. So do we want to combine cards? Or do we need items? So we definitely don't need items. So I don't really know what we're going to combine. It seems like there's a limited pool of which cards you're able to... The choice is yours. What if I sacrifice... It's me. What if I sacrifice the stink to the to the to the opossum? Maybe something cool will happen. Can I back out of this? Okay, so the ones that you're able to sacrifice are gonna be the ones that have an ability. Is there any ability I would like to share with a different card? Is there any card here that has a great ability, but the card itself is bad? Bullfrog kind of sucks. I like this ability. What does this work well with? I don't know. The transform. Maybe making something else transform that actually has some stronger value. I could see that. I kind of want to see what comes out of the raven. I'm pretty sure if you give transform to your card, it just gains 1-1, one, one, but these transforms are better. The ones that are built into the card, I'm not 100% sure about that, though. I wonder why the regular ants isn't here. Oh, because it doesn't have a middle ability, it only has the attack value. <laughs> we already upgraded Skink, so I'm not going to sacrifice that. Let's just get rid of Bullfrog. What would be very good if it could block something? I don't know, man. I think we just don't want this card in our deck anyway, since it's a little underpowered, so it's a good way to clear it away. What would we like to be a blocker? The thing we'd like to be a blocker. Not you, not you. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be either Wolf or... Well, I'm gonna go with, with you being able to, to block more. I like it. Let's upgrade Stoat. What an honor. <laughs> I also just wanted to see what he said. So. <laughs> Alright, so he's a 1 3. You can block flying now. I don't really. The significance of blocking flying doesn't seem. Why do I only get one life? My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What is that? Oh, so if you have two, you only get one life coming in. If you have an extra, if you have a second life, I mean, you only, you only get one life. If you have a second one coming in, then you get an extra card. That makes sense. Incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberate between your ears. Path was blocked by a grotesque figure. It's going to be the Prospector. We have faced this guy before. Um, he just turns your guys into gold. So the key to this is not to commit too hard. You want to win that first round um, without committing too many resources. He's going to go in with a mule. The mule gives you cards, too. The coyote we're going to want to take out next turn. What does this do? Bone King. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones instead of one. That is very cool. Um, so we can develop Egg. We don't want it to die to the Coyote, obviously. Stink Bug is not... It's just gotta be Egg. We can also sack this. This doesn't cost anything. It'll allow us to develop some more bones later. I'm gonna do this. I'm guessing our bones don't go away when our board does. So we're gonna... Play the smoke. And we are going to play the egg. Grab that. Grab the bones. Um, is working on the... Is working on the mule better right now? Uh, it'll allow him not to be able to play defense against the, the egg next turn, so... I want to see where the egg hatches. Alright, let's go. The mule can't move because something's blocking it. Uh, so Raven's a 2-3. Okay, I think we knew that. 
Um, so we do want a, a way to do one damage here. Coyote might be a way. Uh, Squirrel's not going to do anything for us, so we draw. We got Ant Queen. It's going to require two sacrifices. Um, I don't want to sacrifice my Raven, no freaking way. So I'm going to develop Stink Bug, do one damage to the Coyote. And uh, I'm going to spend two bones here. Why not? Lots of Just gotta keep this guy off the board. Take too much damage here. But right now we're kind of stabilized. We're gonna have de defense and a bunch of lanes. Uh, squirrel and queen. Ooh, I really probably want to save the ant queen. Ants is in hand. Okay, I want to save it, save it for later. I really do need something playable, though. We have a squirrel in the bottle that we can use. So I'm going to draw a card and see what we get. It is Skink. So we can play... Skink is playable. We're going to play Squirrel. Play Skink. I love how the bones are actually going to be carried over to phase two of this. I love that. And uh, we're just going to go. Let's field here. We'll get the cards and stuff too. So now we draw Squirrel. And we pass. We're not quite there, which is good. Now we draw... This is actually going to get killed by the Coyote, unfortunately. No, it's going to get turned to gold. We're going to win right here. So let's just set up next turn. Bones. Um, well, we can grab a Squirrel next turn anyway, so we might as well see what we got. There's Worker Ant. So we have some synergy in our hands. We definitely pass here. That is boss phase number one. There's gold in them cards! Goddamn redneck. Oh, that actually counts as bones? Oh my gosh. So this is so much easier once they finish in round two. The second time around, because you have all these bones now. Cool. So we're going to give him some time to develop some stuff. Uh, let's try to grab some more gold. Uh, some more... Um... Yeah, we can't do anything here. We just want bone cards. Coyote is a tumor. What does this Bloodhound do? When an opposing creature is placed opposite, card bearing a sigil. Okay, so it has hunt. Very cool. Can we deal with a 2 3 is the real question. This, again, creates an ant in hand. It's only going to have one attack. The coyote doesn't really deal with this well here. We don't really need. I'm not playing the... I'm not playing the Ant Queen yet. Let's draw a card. <laughs> Prospector boss again. Heck yeah. The... Um, this can actually deal with the 2-3. It can tank it for an extra turn. I think I'm just gonna play... Squirrel Stout. Hell yeah, I'm sure. There's an adder. <laughs> um, we're gonna need some sacrifices, so let's stock up on squirrels for later. The stout is gonna die. Bye. Adder is gotta develop a strong card right now. Uh, I think we're gonna be able to develop another ant here, so let's go for the queen. Well, no, we can't do it because we don't have two sacrifices. Okay, so let's go for worker ant, then we'll do queen next turn. So we grab a, a squirrel. And worker ant.
gonna do this over the course. I'm pretty sure the nug gold nugget is gonna die to the adder's poison. Pretty sure. That's nice. Wolf cup. Uh, wolf cup gets blocked. The problem is, is that we don't have a second sacrifice. I guess we'll just kill the we'll kill the adder. Uh, we can't do anything with the second squirrel yet, so we draw. Let's fry him up. We could sacrifice this worker ant. Probably better just to develop the coyote. We'll develop fry him up in a second here. And here we go. Put some damage up. This didn't transform. After one turn on the board. I guess this isn't called on the board. It's only on the board when it's here. Uh, we can't actually even do anything right now. Squirrel. We have a card. Awesome. We just don't have board spent. But we're, we're getting the damage in. We still haven't used any of our cards. This will actually transform now. Still haven't gotten a chance to play fry him up. Um, probably aggroing and just finishing this boss off is going to be the correct play here. So let's... Doesn't even matter, really. We have a rabbit, though. Let's just develop Prime up. And go phase for three. We can also... Play the opossum, it doesn't matter. Does leftover bones give us anything? Probably not. We can actually go squirrel and queen. Prime up lives, of course. Power numbers, the ants creep. I think we just win though, with Oruga. But <laughs> it's just BM, okay? Uh, the chat is, is, is spoiling for me and saying that if you kill the pack mule before winning, your deck actually gets extra cards in it. Interesting. I don't even know if I want to dilute my deck at this point very well. Choose a rare card. I don't think I want to, especially since I'm choosing a rare right now, I don't think I want to dilute my deck. I haven't been getting through my deck yet. Largely unimpressive specimen. Uh, strange larvae, but it does transform. I like the transform. Gek, not so impressed. And there's Urieli. I just don't see this card ever being playable, so we're gonna go with the larvae. See what it is. We haven't had a chance to be able to even sacrifice four things, you know? After the heroin encounter, the prosper you gather yourself and continue onwards. You know the drill already. You think Gek is OP? Why? Because it's a free minion? Interesting. The air grew thick with moisture. Moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. The wetlands. We're going to have to face the Fisher King. First time we died to the Fisher King is because I think we won too fast. We'll try to slow down the battle, and I don't even know how you're supposed to win. <laughs> it seemed like an impossible play. Do we want to go based on... I feel like this gives you more choices. So this is a 3-3 three, three for 8 bones. Tyrant of the Skies. Jeez. When are we ever going to have 8 bones, though? Mantis and Bullfrog. I like the Mantis. And it's only 1. It's basically a 1 cost 2-1. I, I like this card. We're going to go with Mantis. No, uh, items. We didn't use any items. What happens when you get to this on a full... Hmm. I don't know, I'm curious three, you have three. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. Oh! You actually get something? Pack rat! Because <laughs> we're- I'm a hoarder! This is my personality. The fruit and pack rat. Never done the utility of a well stocked pack. Cool! I didn't realize that. I always thought I had to use my- use my materials. So this is a two cost two, two. And uh, let's see what the um, 
I'm curious to see what this does here. What does the pack do? Pack. Pack, 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 pack. I want to read it for myself. I know you guys in the chat know. I know you guys know what this does. Here it is. When a card bearing a sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. Very cool. So two cost two two gain an item. That's not bad. Items are items are pretty good. I love how they give you something. <laughs> For being a hoarder. What does this mean? This is a regular fight. What is this thing? Extra hard fight? Oh, it's an extra hard fight. Okay. So flying cards move. I don't care. The moving doesn't seem like a very good ability. We gotta okay, so he has a stump. He's playing three cards, including a Raven's Egg. Jeez. We gotta be able to deal two damage to this before it transforms. Kingfisher. These are gonna be flying. These also hide, so you can't really kill these. Um, I would really like to develop our Raven's Egg. And we can grab a squirrel next time and kill... Well, no, if we develop Raven's Egg here, then he's, ours will transform first and kill his Raven's Egg. I think that's how this is going to work. So we're going to develop Raven's Egg actually in four. So it's going to be Squirrel, Raven Egg. Again, we play, he play, we transform and attack, and we'll kill it. Pretty sure that's how that works, but if I'm making a mistake, sue me. Let's go. See, mine is gonna kill him. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, we grab Squirrel. Play Squirrel. The fur is actually blocking this, which is cool. My lovely lady stone. Work her in. And we attack. And we kill the egg be Oh no, it's flying. Whoops. <laughs> I had an accident. That also flies. Oh my gosh. Too much damage. Now what do we do? Oh, uh, well, scroll doesn't do anything. Man. Is developing wolf worth it? Coyote's definitely not. We're grabbing three damage back and then we're gonna take four. We're not in a good position here at all. I don't think I can develop either of these though, so let's go. Just get so much free damage and so on. Bones. We could probably develop the wolf, kill the worker ants, get some damage going. It's These cards are so bricked. I'm just going to go after these. I think this is the right play. We grab Squirrel. Play Squirrel. Um, play Wolf. Eat these two. Play Wolf here, because it doesn't matter. Does it carry over to this River Otter? It doesn't matter, this River Otter never comes into play. Wolf is played there. Coyote is played... Here. And now we're doing we're doing so much damage. He's not gonna be able to keep up to this because he's his board is brick. Do we just win? Never mind, leave us. How many I should probably know how many teeth you need in order to win this game. How many is it? I'm gonna count next time. Guys in the chat, just tell me how many teeth it is so I don't have to deal with this. How what is what is lethal in this game? Plus five? Plus five, okay. Easy. You encountered a small outpost in the woods, tended by... Again, you have to five more than the opponent, tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were... 
molested by her offering, <laughs> mollified by her offerings. <laughs> That's the woman, huh? Mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Oh, mommy, we'll start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these, take your time. Cool. Uh, do they have any ants? No. That's very cool. So we got some more raven's eggs. Snapper, coyote. Wolf cub is good. I love the wolf cub. Wolf cub is a, a slow way of developing. Oh, I love wolf cub, man. I'm going for wolf cub. Elk fawn turns into elk. So it's very similar. Elk is going to be a 2-4. Wolf is a 3-2. Three 3-2s three are easier to exploit than a 2-4, so probably Elk Fawn is better than Wolf Cub. 2-4s are overall worse than 3-2s, but they're, they're harder to take off. Alright, we'll go with Elk Fawn. Adder's pretty cool too, man. Maybe we need Adders in order to deal with those goddamn bears later. Once a card bearing a sigil is B is created in your hand. A B is defined as 1-1 one, one airborne for 0. <laughs> you guys are spoiling this game for me, man. <laughs> the chat's saying get adder. I'm not going to tell you what, why the chat's telling me to get adder. It has to do with the plot of this game. I'm turning off. I'm not looking at the chat anymore. I'm gonna decide myself. I think Elk Fawn is the is the is the more powerful card. Is is being able to develop two one ones for free better than than a two four? Probably. But you have to be, or else it's just one 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 for free. It's not great. It's also a sacrifice. All right, Elk Fawn it is. Is that a golden pelt? Magnificent. Here we go. Why is everyone saying Gek is so good? Uriel, Long Elk. His four bones. Deadly. One, two, move. Long Elk. What is this even a picture of? I don't understand. We also have Strange Larvae, which we're not really sure what it does yet. I don't think this card is gonna ever gonna be playable. Long Elk for four bones sounds like a really good deal because he can just kill things. And then it it moves at the end of your turn, right? So then it'll dive and then kill something again. Gek is just a free 1-1 one, one, though. It's a pretty fun way of getting tempo. This is my deck, I guess. All right, let's try Gek just to, well, Elk seems so good though. All right, we grab Gek. Pelts are most excellent, my thing. It's no problem. Can you upgrade Gek with something? What would you upgrade it with though? What's in my deck, by the way? Well, if you have a Gek, which is a free card, and you give it which ability, though? I don't know which ability you'd give. I don't know this game well enough. Is this deleting a card from your deck? And here's the boss. Let's do some combiny things again. That's fun. The choice is yours. He's such a good sport. Would any of these abilities be good for Gek? Oh my gosh. You could actually give the Pack Rat's ability to a cheaper guy. What if we give Pack Rat's ability to Gek? That sounds insane, not gonna lie. Skink? Pack Rat! The be able to play this card for zero cost is mind blowing. I'm not sacking Fry him up. I think let's go, guys. This is the only ability that's ridiculous if played for free. Being able to move if you die. 
know. All right, we're doing it. Pack Rack is going into Gek. I like this idea a lot. We have unlimited items now. That's crazy, man. Let's go. Pack Rat has the whole card is the ability. Get the whole thing is the lack of cost. Together they're a match made in heaven. I like it. We have to use some items. We just use an item and then develop the Gek. Oh my gosh. So he's gonna be playing a flying one one and a blocking one two, air blocking one two. Look at the Gek! Man, the skink is good. Elk Fawn is also a good card. So you don't want to put the Elk Fawn where it's gonna die here. I say we... You know how much we can develop right now, man? <laughs> this is crazy. What we can do, look at the combos. I just want to demonstrate what we can do right now. It's going to be Squirrel. Play the Squirrel. Develop Elk Fawn just here. And then we can grab this Squirrel, because why the hell not? Now we develop Gek. We're gonna get a free item. Cause why the hell not? Now we just gotta go. It's just free items. We can cycle whatever we want. Now I can play this squirrel and develop stink. Look how good this is. This is OP. We can't lose. We just cannot lose. And we didn't. The item didn't matter. All right, attack. Oh, that moves? Oh, whoops. Wait. Oh, it flew over it, though. I didn't realize that would move to the side. Oh my gosh, look at look at this board. This is turn two, guys. This is insane. Actually insane. Draw. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. <laughs> But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Normal. Um, we can't we can actually just sack Gek right now for a 1-3. I don't think I'm going to. I think we're just gonna attack here and we'll develop this later. We're absolutely dominating this guy. Does he move? Okay, he moves. If he bumps into a wall, he moves. That's just how it goes. Uh develop stoat. Why not? Bad play? <laughs> Shut up! Goodbye. Guaranteed lethal, you mean bad play. He's a killjoy. Crap -qua. How much overkill do we have? My pelts are clean. We have so many! We have enough for the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Holy crap. I'm grabbing golden pelt. I don't even need this. Let's go. The overkill is real. Should we just be stacking more abilities into the Gek? What's in my deck? What would I put onto the Gek now just to make it even stronger? Skink we're definitely not sacking because that's a buffed card. Um, Raven's Egg? Mantis? Put Mantis onto Gek? Seems pretty good, actually. We also could just put, well, no, you can't put Worker Ants onto it. You could put Ant Queen, though. Ant Queen, again, when played. The Gek isn't going to get the attack thing. The only synergy between the Ants is here, though. You could really sack Ant Queen, and Gek will say now, zero cost, draw an Ant. Just draw an Ant. I haven't really seen the Ant Queen. Ant Queen has a lot of stats, too. I don't think I'm going to do the Ant Queen thing. Um, I don't think we have really anything to sacrifice for Gek here. Put four Sigils on one card. What if I put Fry him up onto, onto Gek? 
for real. It'll transform. This card has really good stats, but it costs two. Instead, I'll just have a free transforming like auto auto kill. Like fry him up to be able to develop fry him up is too expensive. I feel like I should have made this a one cost card for real. Oh, only one sack per card? I can't upgrade it again? People are saying I can't do it. I can grab another pack rat so I can upgrade again later. Is there another? Oh, there's an upgrade here. Can't really double pack rat a card there, right? I could put pack rat onto a different card later, though. And make it good. I think I like this. I'm gonna grab Pack Rat, and I see another upgrade up to the left. This is what we're doing, guys. I'm gonna put Pack Rat onto a really cheap card later. Onto something that just costs one. Maybe I'll put it onto, like, the. I don't know, something. I'll put it onto, like, the Skink or something like that. Alright, so he's going to be developing a Raven and some Kingfishers. These cards fly. Um, we would like something that is not flying that can deal two damage to this. Um, and we want to develop that either this turn or next. Elk Fawn is actually going to have two damage and will attack, so that's an option. It's the only option. So it's going to be... This is flying, so this is fine. It's going to be Squirrel, and it's going to be Elk Fawn. And again, we play this, it will move to the left, and then attack um, this card next turn in its full form. So this turn it does one. Does this transform or what? Yes. So it's attacking. Hell yeah, it's going to attack and then move. Love to see it. There's nothing we can do. We're just gonna look for the pack rat, I guess. Uh, okay. So the goat needs a sacrifice. Uh, we could tear a card if we want. Nothing really to tear. There's nothing really to do here. So we will pass. Kills that for free. We're taking three. Oh, so much. We didn't just die, did we? We're getting really close there. Um, we could develop the, the the we could grab the goat. I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna grab a squirrel, grab a goat, play a squirrel, play a goat. <laughs> Play a pack rat, which grabs the goat. Play the pack rat here. Grab another car. It's a boulder. Very cool. Does boulder block flying? Nope. Um, it will block river otter, though. And we do. Well, we're we're minus one. We're gonna be plus two. We're gonna be. We're minus four right now. We're going to be minus three, and he's going to do one, two, three damage. We're actually going to be minus three, so we, we either have to develop Possum, or we have to grab this boulder. Minus three. We'll be minus two with Possum, so we'll just develop Possum. This is fine. We don't got to grab the boulder. Yet. Uh, that's pretty good. And here we go. Oh, Elk also moves and blocks this 1-1. One, one. Yeah, okay, we're fine. <laughs> we're totally fine. Right now, I think we're, we're still minus 3, right? So we always grab a card. Golden Pelt. Um, we're dealing... We're dealing five damage, and he's gonna deal three. Pack rat's gonna die. So it's fine. So now we're plus two. 
Now we're going to be minus one. I think we cannot develop Coyote. Ooh, what do we do? Oh, I have to grab a card. Oh, Skink. I love Skink. Gray skin grabs the possum and goes here. And we're good. I hope I didn't just screw up. We can take we can take three damage here, right? Yeah. Uh what do our bones look like? No, still grab this and queen. That's not going to be playable. Well, we definitely can't be sacking these. We can't do anything. We're doing, we're dealing four and we're taking three. I mean, there's, we're not going to be losing like this here. We can grab Boulder to be taking a little bit less damage here. But what's really the point of that? Snipping one of these cards doesn't help. I think we're just we're just passing here. Again, we deal four. And then we take three. So we're always good. Close to lethal here. Uh nothing in terms of the bones. I'm guessing the ant that we're having in our hand is going to require a sacrifice. Let's just grab this. Oh, Gek! Gek is here! Alright, so now we can use any of these. I might as well snip a card, right? Snipping is very powerful, so I'm just going to use... Which of these is the worst? I think this is the worst. <laughs> Ow. Play Gek. We got another snippy snippy. These are going to be useful for the second boss, I think. Just going to snip them up. And, uh... So all she wrote. I think we win here anyway. With no overkill. It's good. We actually have two card snips. I don't know about it. I guess we have to develop a board and then kill bears. I don't know. It's going to be the bear. Do you, can you go slow? I don't even know. We, we get a card. Mole is going to be, again, Mole blocks if they're hitting face. He always blocks face. River Otter submerges. And Rattler for six bones. A lot of bones. So River Otter is a, a way to keep one damage. It's kind of seems like a card you're gonna end up sacking anyway. Mole. Mole you can use to block and then use then sack it. Rattler is a late game card. It's very powerful. We have so many things we use bones on anyway though. I just feel like both of these cards are going to end up sacking. This can block more damage. River Otter kind of develops more. I'm going to grab Otter, I guess. Is there any card that would work well with these two abilities in terms of blocking? Really? Oh, you can sack Otter and give it to a high attack guy. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Okay, we're definitely going for sack here. I'm pretty sure I'm sacking pack rat again. Because that's just so many uh, items. But you're right, you can sack the otter and give it. You said the choice is yours. Give it to a really hot, uh, to a glass cannon. That's a really nice idea, actually. We don't really have any glass cannons. We already gave wolves extra health. 
so it becomes less necessary. So I'm going to do the pack rat thing again, um, which is going to be sacking pack rat. And we're going to give it to a really cheap card that's easy to play. Uh, Elk Fawn is probably a card I'm going to be keeping. Larvae, Egg, Ant, Skink. We could give it to Skink. Should we give it to a Bone? Is there a reason to give Pack Rat's ability to a Bone card? Is it better to give it to a Bone card or to a... Or to a Blood card? So it's either to we're giving it to a possum, or we're just giving it to skink, I guess. I'm gonna give it to skink. Love him, my skink. It's a really powerful card in its own right. Maybe I should give it to a less powerful card, though. Really, the Elk Fawn is, is probably more powerful than the Skink overall, anyway. All right, let's give it the Skink. So this is gonna go... It's a really cool ability that's gonna go onto one class card. And it retains its current ability, right? Hell yeah. So we have two pack rats. One's on a on a Gek, and the other one's on a one call, one sacrifice Skink. Here's the boss. Now, again, this is... We failed in part one. We get the, 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 the bones, which is very cool. We failed in part one to this guy. This guy has two different shticks he does. First of all, he lures in your cards and steals them. The second thing he does is summon a million bears. The angler, mind his hook, play a squirrel or something when he aims it. Oh, that will protect your best cards. Oh, he always hooks the last card you play. That's a really good tip. Kingfisher. Uh, so we have Fry Him Up. I'd love to develop that as soon as possible. We actually have both of these cards that we can develop Fry Him Up immediately. That's got to be correct, because this will give us more value every single turn. So we're going to develop Smoke. And develop Squirrel. And develop Prime Up. This card doesn't matter. Uh, this card hides. I want Prime Up to be here. I don't, there's no way to block this. And we don't want an, an, an adder coming in and killing that. We have a bunch of bones here too, which is very cool. Stale fish hard to choose. So we just develop a squirrel now, he says, huh? Take new fish, easy. Oh, I see. I should have probably caught on to that last time. We're not developing stink bug. There we go. Wait, did we go too fast again? Maybe I went too fast by developing fry him up. Wait. No, this didn't happen. We weren't allowed to get past the second boss, so we developed a million bears. What are these bait bucket? What is this? Anyway, we can develop egg with the current scroll, so we'll grab this. Bait bucket. <laughs> the chat's telling me not to kill the bait buckets. Well, it's too late. <sighs> Let's see what happens. We really do have a. We could develop boulder. Alright, let's go. Wolf can also grab this. Love it. Great white? Holy crap! It's a 4 2. Ow?
Is he aiming? He's not aiming it. So Fry Muff is just gonna die, huh? I see how it is. It's so much damage, though. They don't win, though. Is this when he does the bear thing? Need a light? Wait, that was it? That guy, that was, he, he summoned eight bears last time. Must be a plot thing where you can't actually beat the, the second boss. Your reward. Unless I'm mixing up. The, 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 the bear thing was the second boss last time. Maybe it was the third boss. So the, the, he does the, the the whole again. If you saw him part one, that boss was impossible to beat. He summons eight bears when you kill him, and so it's a plot point, and they allow you to actually beat the second boss. Okay, kind of BS. I have no words for this freak of nature. I like it too. The prudent pack rat. All right, we have packs. We have like unlimited. I didn't even use a single item <laughs> that match. I really like the Long Elk, and I think I'm going to end up... This seems like a very good card in its own right, and I think I'm going to end up feeding this to something. To something even cheaper, and it's going to become insane. It doesn't have good stats. We haven't even seen Strange Larvae yet. I haven't had a chance to even play the card. Alright, we move on. Consider one of the English catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Okay, bye. Then we'll have to, have to wait. Let me think. Frigid gust of wind bellowed, unwelcome into your lungs. Beauty falling snow. Now distract you from the chill in your bone. The snow line. Uh, bah. What's in this cave? It's gonna be a fight. You arrived at an inky black mouth of a cave. <laughs> Strange beast lurked within. Spoke, pass one of my trials and I will be yours. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. So one trial is going to be the three drawn cards must have at least four attack combined to pass. So really, I mean, every I do have some zero attack, like the larvae. I have plenty of things that have two or three, though. Okay. The three drawn cards must have three sigils among them to pass. And the Trial of Health. The three drawn cards must have six health combined in order to pass. Can I look at my deck? Alright, so this is my deck right now. I'm happy I didn't dilute my deck with that mule, man. Alright, so again, three equals six health, three equals three sigils, or four power. We're just gonna have to do an average game here. These don't have any power. I'm pretty sure this is zero. Um, so right now... Uh, Golden Pelt also has no power. So again, of all the cards in our deck, um, we have 18 cards. The mount with zero power are 1, 2, 3, 4. Four of them are going to seriously screw up the power thing. We also have all these zero powers. It's definitely not going for power. We have too many things with one. We have a few things with three, but that's definitely not what we're doing today. The question is either health or sigils. Now, sigils, we have one, two, three, four, five cards with no sigil. Um, the amount of cards we have with multiple sigils is one, two. This counts as a sigil, right? Three. So we have three cards with multiple sigils, and then we also have three... We have four, actually. This doesn't have one, two, three, four. If we have five with none, that's going to screw it up. What about health? We're going to need them to have an average of two. Now, I have a bunch of cards. Two seems to be above average. Oh, 
We need six, man. So getting one of these... The chat is split between... It's definitely not attack. The chat is split between Sigil. There's five cards that would mess up Sigil, and then... One... Two... There's two cards that would... Rede three cards that we can't fry them up. So there's three cards that would redeem it. Five cards that would mess it up. The amount of cards that would mess up health... Is one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven... There's seven cards that would detract from health average. And there's one, two, this should count as two, right? Two, this is guaranteed if we get, if we pull wolf. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's the, health is minus seven plus nine. Sigil is minus five plus three. So I think I go with health. That makes sense. The amount of or, or the, 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 the the amount of we're we're above average in terms of what we need in terms of health, and we're below average in terms of what we need for sigil. So we go with health. I think that's just a simple calculation. You guys follow me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, we're seven minus seven, but we're plus two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, sorry. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're plus one for health. It's got to be health, guys. It's got to be health. Survey said we can pull a wolf, we automatically get it. God damn it. Come on. Well, we wouldn't have gotten sigil anyway. Yeah, just really, un really <laughs> unlucky that we got two fails and no redeeming. That's fine. Wouldn't work for Sigil anyway. Oh, for Sigil it would have... No, the Gek only had one. All full. We get the rat. <laughs> we'll throw that onto something. Pack Rat is such a good... Such a good combining card. Where's the next combine? It doesn't look like I see any combining. So we're either going to get cave, which was cool. I kind of want to do the cave again. There's also cards here. It's eliminating. I don't need more items. Well, let's try to actually use some items now. <laughs> well, we'll use them and refresh them on. We have two ref item refreshes. What does this say? What does it mean? What does this mean? Sharp quills. Damn, that sucks. That's a really good ability. So he has two elk fawns. We're going to somehow have to kill them before they... It's crazy, man. So our elk fawn can kill one of them, but then it dies. Oh, we're in such doo-doo right now. I don't even know what to do, man. Because the, the quills. Oh, this is such a hard fight. Really good totem here. Um, I'm probably going to just start using some items. So again, elk fawn develops as a 1-1. One, one. This moves at the end of the turn, though. I think the Elk Fawn is going to be able to come in and kill these. I think I just develop Elk Fawn in, in four. So it can start moving back and kill those later. That's going to be the play. Should I be snipping right now? I really should be snipping these b before they're played. I can. I, can I snip them already? Oh, I can't even... It's not letting me grab this. It has to be... It has to be a played card already, not something he's going to play. Alright. So Elk Fawn is being played here. We get a bone too. And, uh... Here we go. We'll, we'll, we're, we're definitely going to snip one of these. There's too many... Too many Elks. 
Uh, so that actually moved into us, which is awesome. Um, so we're gonna grab... We're gonna grab you. There's the queen. We are definitely snipping this. We can't fall behind here, so... Should I... Well, I can't snip fail. Here we go. We can't really do anything here. So we pass. That dies. We take a damage. <laughs> we moved out of the way. Man, this guy's developing elks like crazy. How many bones do I have? I don't even know what to do here. We're down, too. We're... we're... We've done one damage with that original elk, and we've taken... Is there a way to look, just look at the scale? I can't see how many we have, but we can probably make a calculation, right? I think we're down... We took two, and then we just took two more, so we're down four. So we're minus three right now. So two damage kills us, we're doing two. This is rough. We kind of just need... I might have to snip this too. I think we kind of just need a miracle. We're not going to be able to develop this. Wolf. Really terrible. So, again, this is going to do two damage and then move. This is going to do four. So he's going to do four. So we're minus three. We'll be minus one and not four. So we have to snip. We can't develop anything. All right, we can also develop Boulder, but Boulder is really a temporary solution. Snip it is. Snip it is. I'm sad, but that's the play. We have to, I guess, just start grabbing some squirrels. Another elk. Everything in my hand costs two. I don't even know what to do right now. Grabbing a squirrel is so slow. I'd love to top deck Gek right now. <laughs> top Gek madness. We need to keep the elk on the field. I don't know, am I in desperation enough to not draw a squirrel? If we were to kill two squirrels, we could develop a wolf, which is really strong. We're only taking two damage this turn. Alright, so let's play for the long game here. Do we grab Boulder? There's two. We're surviving for the meantime. So we grab Squirrel. Grab Squirrel. We develop. Amp Queen doesn't do enough. Again, I'm pretty sure this ant... We have to develop the wolf, right? Where do we develop it? Develop it here. It'll take two plus one, which is fine. So sad. This wolf is just gonna die. How many bones do we have? We really just need to get a miracle here. There's egg. Raven Egg has actually lost two. So the wolf dies. The elk dies. <laughs> I don't even know what to do here. If we sack something, if we sack one of these for the Raven's Egg, we have to kill these anyway, right? We could develop Ant plus Coyote this turn. Ant actually survives this, and Coyote will kill this. Really, I mean, these die anyway. Is there anything I can actually do here? Just develop... What is this thing? 
At the end of the owner's turn, cards bearing a sigil will move in the direction inscribed by the sigil. Here's in the way it will be pushed in the same direction. He's doing three damage to me here, man. Well, we have to develop the boulder here no matter what, right? I think we can still spare one point of damage, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, here it is. Oh, there is a counter on the top. Oh, I see. So we're minus two. Okay, I'm glad there's a counter here. We can't take three points of damage, so we develop boulder. These die, but it at least gives us bones, right? And then we pass, and we'll develop something next turn with the bones. Gosh. And it pushed that too. So now, again, now we're, we're minus three. We can still take two damage. Um, we gotta take a squirrel. How do we deal with a 3-7 though, man? I don't know. We don't. Actually, Squirrel wasn't it, was it? We can develop Coyote. Coyote kills us, but then dies. Squirrel can just chump block here. I have no idea how to win this. This... The coyote dies to this immediately. The coyote doesn't do anything here. He only has one health. He dies to the pricklies. We're so screwed! The coyote, what it can do is kill this. I think it's just gonna be squirrel and two coyote and three. Well, okay, raven's egg can be developed here. But if we do that... Then we can't... well, then Coyote... Accurate? Whoa, Packrat won't do anything, though. We have to block the three damage, right? We're right now minus two. We're going to be taking four. So we either have to deal three damage to his face, which is not possible. Well, Coyote can go face. Okay, we have to use Coyote to face. No. And Raven's Egg can go here and chump lock it. So then we'll be doing two damage and then taking three. He doesn't have any cards left. So we can do two damage, take three, and still be okay. Okay, we actually have a way. Yeah. Okay, this is simple. Like you, egg goes here. And coyote goes here to face. Okay, that makes sense. This does make sense now. Let's go. So now, instead of taking four, we're only taking three, so we live. Now we have a raven. Ooh. Oh, the ravens... I didn't realize the raven... The, the damage that that took affects the, the evolved form. I guess that makes sense. Uh, we just have to develop now... Oh, this actually can still chump block. It only takes one damage. Oh, we're fine. We're actually okay. So we're just gonna hope for a good card here. We got Gek. You have me here, I surrender. Uh, I think we'll grab this. Because we're really going to have to deal with this every turn. Getting overkill is a is a very... Well, no, I want to play this first, just to get the item. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we have him. In fact, maybe I can just keep playing this and develop Pack Rat. He doesn't have any cards left. I can always chump block this every turn with a squirrel. Never mind, I'm going to refill. I'm going to refill with Pack Rat. Screw it. Oh, this actually flies over. No, never mind. Oh, 
I think now we grab this. I do have a, uh, 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 this is fine. I just wanted two more items. <laughs> That's all I wanted. I wanted the items. Let's go. Uh, all right, keep it going. Man, it's so late. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna retire after this. After this um, next boss here, we got the cave again. Come on, let's go. Let's get a better cave condition. Got really unlucky. You know how it works. So we either need to have five points. Almost impossible. Six health, more doable. Three sigils. Um, the chances of getting five bones are almost nothing. I mean, it's so unlikely to get two bone cards out of three, which is what we would need. And even these two would not be good enough. So screw five bones. I'm going for the health again, and it's the exact same calculation as last time. The health is the way. Come on! And we got one redeeming card and two unredeeming, man. Sigils would have worked. Sigils would have worked. Now we're lucky. Alright. What does this do? So this is eliminating a card from our deck? Came across familiar stones, but there was something different. You... Intuited. The fate of the creature selected this would not be pleasant. <laughs> Please, no! No! I'm guessing we can just get rid of something in our deck that's not very good. Um, I, we really do have too thick of a deck and we have cards that are not useful. I feel like the Ant Queen has been something that... I mean, we, this is a good card to sacrifice. I'm guessing Worker Ants is going to be the one to go away. It's a one cost one, two. I'm going to get rid of Ant Queen and use it as an upgrade. Um... Does something good happen if you, if you do the stink bug or the... <laughs> Can you guys tell me if there's something cool that happens if I just sacrifice my... My what's it called? My otter? <laughs> or my whatever this thing is? <laughs> there's nothing that happens? A possum seems sad too, but at least that's a bone card. I'm gonna get rid of the worker ant. It doesn't seem to be very good. It would be funny. You die instantly if you sacrifice them. <laughs> Let's get rid of work here, Ant. Goodbye. Chaosly slaughter the worker, Ant. However, the Bone Lord was pleased with your sacrifice. What did he give me? A minor boon of the Born Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Oh, that's good. You shook off the viscera of the poor worker ant and carried onwards. <laughs> this game is so harsh. Is there so many things in this game that there's special cards you can sacrifice that will actually change the plot? I would love to. I mean, that means you just can play this game like a hundred times and you just figure stuff out. I don't know if you guys are interested in me playing, like, making a hundred streams of this deck, but it seems like the replayability is insane. Anyway, we finally have Strange Larvae. I don't know what this is going to turn into. It looks very cool, though. We got Pack Rat and Golden Pelt, which we're probably saving. So he's developing Raven Egg Wolf Cub. Um, wolf, wolf, I think that we want the wolf cup to die. It's got two raven's eggs. What does this also do? It says, creature opposing sigil loses a power. It's so annoying, man. Anyway, squirrel. And we'll take the... I don't know how much attack this has. I think we'll just sack the wolf cup. We don't want to face a wolf. And uh, we can take the health and go from there. Wait! 
What did it, it turn into something? If it's attacked? Strange pupa? Oh, it takes three turns? Oh my gosh. Uh, I didn't realize that. I thought it was going to transform immediately. Well, Pack Rat's not playable. Unless we sack this. So let's try to top deck something good. <sighs> this is very sad. Even if we grab a squirrel, none of this is playable. After one turn on the board. So this is going to do three damage. So unfortunately we have to snip the wolf. Alright. Pass. Here's these raven. No, he just took five. Oh, never mind. We just die. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I messed up. Anyway, we only have one life left. We can finally cash in these pelts. Oh no, this is- we're buying pelts? I don't want pelts though. I seriously don't want any pelts. <sighs> our, our deck is too bricked. I'm not buying anything. You have me gratitude? You just gave me something for free though, idiot. Anyway, we get two items. Pitiful possum. What does it do? To the user, a frozen possum is created in your hands. A frozen possum finds zero power five health frozen away. What does frozen away mean? I need to take a look at the rule of what frozen away means. One second. When a card bearing citadel perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. That seems really good. Powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Jeez. Cool. We always start with the bone, that's useful. Glad I made a sacrifice. We have too many dead cards. This is the problem. We're bricked. This deck sucks. <laughs> Fry, this deck sucks. At least there's no handicap this time. So we got Elk Fawn. Two Ravens. Like, they're such strong cards, man. We gotta develop strong stuff for every turn, but we can't because we're bricked with Pack Rat. And we do have a Squirrel. How do we do this? Pack Rat can be played next turn. If we sack two more things, Coyote's still not playable. We can go Squirrel, Raven, this, and then, squir then Squirrel, Squirrel, Pack Rat next turn. That sounds about right. Pack Rat will kill one of these. While the Raven will kill this card. This doesn't move until it's a Raven, right? Um, this will move at the end of the turn, though, so we have to develop the Raven here. I think that's right. Uh, just... So, Fawn dies, and we develop Pack Rat. And we also develop we also develop coyote, which is amazing here because we can take advantage of this. We actually just won the game because of that play. That was a great play. What did Packrat give us, by the way? I didn't see. It gave us goat. Give us black goat. Oh, 
Oh, the raven doesn't kill it because it flies. I hate raven, man. I like elf better. Raven sucks. Well, anyway, we're grabbing Ant Queen now. I don't know what the ant does, but I should probably just find out, right? The goat allows us to, um, to kill only one thing here. This just, the raven just dies anyway to this elk, right? It also does attack, though. What does the scale look like? We're actually plus here. We do. Oh, we actually win. <laughs> Never mind. We just pass and we win. It's guaranteed lethal. He didn't, wasn't able to develop anything. Right? It's just lethal. I, let me see the... Well, well, we don't want to use any items now. Alright, let's go. We just aggroed him so hard. <laughs> there we go. We have to do the sacrifice here and get rid of that pack rat, though. Too expensive. Man, this thing is crazy. Creature of the Wild make room for it. So that's a nice late game card. We got Elk, we got Rat King. When their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. So you sack two things, you gain four bones though, man. That that seems good. Ah. Good way of converting squirrels into bones really, really effectively. Moosebuck requires three sacrifice, which makes it very hard to play. It's a really strong card, though. And then Elk. I'm so thrilled about Elk. Three, three situational. <laughs> three pretty bad cards, I guess. The buck was crazy, but he didn't have to sacrifice anything to play it. If you can play this dry, it's nice. I think this could be a card that we'll sacrifice at some point. I don't even know, man. Let's do Rat King. Seems cool. We're definitely upgrading. We could upgrade Rat King. I'm, I'm gonna upgrade, um... Hello. <laughs> he really wants to be sacrificed. I haven't seen much of the stink bug, to be honest. Uh, uh, pack rat or rat king so what do we want items free items or free bones free bones seems like a pretty cool way why don't we give something some bones you know what screw it let's do the bone thing marvelous now again we can't give the sto the um the the zero cost card we can't give that a second ability yet it's not even on the table so we're going to give this to something cheap. What will it be? It's a card that we would like to sacrifice anyway. It's also when it dies. Maybe we'll put a card that, like, you play and then it kind of dies easily. What card dies a lot? Egg. On. Otter. We have to get, we need to sacrifice otter so badly. Mantis is sort of meant to do damage and then die. Let's try with Mantis. I feel like this is a card that dies. That's what it is. It does its damage and then it gets the hell out. All right, let's go. Cool beans. So it's a free source of bones. Is this a boss? Okay, so this is going to be the last fight of the stream. I'm going for now almost two hours. Man stood before you recognized me or it was the trapper. Oh, this was the trap. Oh, never mind. So it was the trapper that did the thing with the bear. So that you will supply the pelts? What the hell is this? What's with all the knives? 
Anyway, we got Mantis, man. What is this stuff? Did I face this guy? What does all this mean? When a card bearing the sigil perishes. Oh, the music is so loud right now. Can I, like, turn down the music, please? <laughs> the boss music is, is so loud. Where's the sound? Bruh. There you go. I, I forgot the last run was after three. It was the trapper with all the bears. Okay, so he's got one twos that can block stuff. Then he has a, a zero one. That it's just a trap. Pelt is created in your hand. Okay, so we don't obviously don't play into that. Mantis dies to this thing. But it gives us bones. Let's also fry him up. We can grab the goat. We can grab the goat and develop Prime up already. That's probably the way to go. I guess the goat is the way you develop those three and four cost cards. I didn't even think of that. Okay, grab the goat. Play squirrel. Play goat. And then play fry him up. And play it here so we don't take damage, I guess. And go. Well, okay, well, fry him up just dies. So now what do we need? Why did that turn? Oh, this, these turn into traps. Oh, that's so annoying. I didn't even realize how that works. So we've got to develop Mantis here. And we'll get some bones and we'll draw some cards off of that later, I guess. We are minus... We, we can't take three damage. We'll be taking one here. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, that was a mistake. I should have eat, ate fry him up. And should have saved the squirrel. I just screwed up. I just literally screwed up. I mean, it's blocking one damage now. That's all the squirrel does. I guess that's worth it. Whoops. Okay, I'm not even reading the cards. I'm too tired to play this game right now. I don't think we're going to win this. I just... Oh, that was so bad. Because now this dies, right? Why is this guy doing such different stuff now? Oh, Mantis is a good answer to traps. I didn't even realize that. I would love to have gotten a, um... Elk Fawn. I can't do anything with these felts, man. So we can take one damage. We can't take two. So we grab you. Elkfawn's gonna move to the right. I guess we sack this thing, right? Bye, rabbit pelt. Wait, I can't sack the rabbit pelt? You'll need something else. Okay, so I can't sacrifice either of these. Well, I guess I'm screwed. Well, I take just one damage now, so I'm fine. <laughs> fine. Overstatement of the year, there's adder. I can make him skip a turn. Elk fawn will kill this. Let's go for it. it. Well, we still take one more damage, right? So we use this now. Or we develop the, um, 
the wolf pelt, which dies to the adder. Alright. Go! It moves. So this dies now. Looking for a bone card. Got long elk. Uh, so it's gonna attack something and then move. I guess that's fine. Uh, I should have done that the other way around. I should have done that here so it moves to the left. But misplays are my middle name today. Now it dies to adder. I need a bone car. We have rabbit pelt. We're still one off. Oh, well, you go here. I screwed up. I could have actually killed the adder and then killed that too. Optic madness. Coyote. That's what we want to see. Uh, it went through. We draw, we got our skink, hell yeah. Skink is just gonna die, but it opens up this lane, right? We kill the, well, we could kill the possum. And then kill the bullfrog. All right, sounds good to me. We got, what does this do again? They have airborne civil this turn. So we're fine. Do we actually win this? We need a card. Wolf. Well, we play it. We can kill vertebrae. We can kill skank. Kill the wolf. I think he's out of cards. He's out of cards, which is insane. There's River Otter. That's a pass. Get some of that back. Wolven Pelt. I don't know what the second boss phase is going to be here, but. Bearing the sigil perishes. Posing it perishes as well. A pelt is created in your hand. Larvae. Oh, we have to sack something for that. Never mind. But now what happens? What happens in stage two? He still has another life. No idea. Did something good happen here? Too fast, too soon. I don't get how we're supposed to beat these bears. What does too fast mean? That, that we, we killed them on turn like 14. Do we have to kill all the traps first? I don't understand. There's no way to beat this guy, huh? There's no way to beat this. It's garbage. I need a goddamn miracle. There's nothing that would work here. I mean, what if we passed? What if we attacked... Well, maybe there is a way. We just need to do 5 damage. This does 3. Okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. What if we were to make this fly? Top deck something that gives us an item. And then make something fly again for the win. Like, we use this. I'll pass my next turn, which means he doesn't attack, right? 
We make this guy fly. Make the small man fly. They both fly? I didn't realize I should have developed one more thing. We didn't have enough attack. We have to fly over these. That's the key. We have to now top deck something. I think we have to top deck something that can... That, that gives us an item and we have to get the fly again. We can't develop any of these. It's too bad to... Wait! Oh, they block flyers. Duh, I'm obligated to pass. I forgot that these all have the sigil of blocking flyers. Okay... Here's Gek. Gek is our friend. But yeah, you can't do it through flying. That's why they added the blocking flyers to the... I don't get it. It's impossible. It's impossible. I only draw one card. I don't care. Don't be greedy. Shut up. Do you understand? Only one. No. I want him to I want him to kill me. I'm leaving. Well, apparently this is unbeatable again, so... This is so frustrating. I can't play anything, right? What is this problem? This guy is not beatable. Is there a key to not making the bear spawn? Hey, if I just wanted to let you know that the first two playthroughs of the game are impossible to beat and is rigged to make you lose if you get too far too soon, which is why he says to fast too soon. Glad you like the game so far. So that's the thing. It happened two times. I was suspected the first one was a plot. But you're saying now, thank you to whoever that was. It didn't appear on the screen. You're saying that it actually is two times pog me. For the two dollar donation saying that too fast too soon okay so that's what it means so i mean this is a really good way of making players frustrated from the game when that happens twice i understand like once but there's two times that they don't let you get past boss three it's just part of the plot of the game that's so annoying <laughs> but whatever hold still i'm making another card Did you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what this camera was capable of? Give me that. <laughs> we have a memento to create. So we're going to make another fry em up card, your death card. It seems like two costs. You'll choose the draw the cost from. So it seems like two costs is always too much. He's not giving me any choices anyway. Um, Ability wise, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Power and health. So we have a 3 4. Love it. So one cost 3 4. Oh, that's really good. Now we'll get the sigils. So it's either going to be bones plus attacking to the two opposite lanes. Uh, I don't think we're going to go with strange larvae. Uh, we could get the gek though. The gek is so good. The ability, man. This has two sigils though. Is attacking 3-4. I guess attacking in two lanes means you're doing 6 damage, right? 
will strike each of the opposing space left and right. I mean, this is broken. This is absolutely broken, and it has the bones and it has the double. So instead of the guy. That's crazy, man. That's a, that's a one cost, three, four. Prime down. Hell yeah. One thing now remains. <laughs> the picture. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I said it. So, guys, apparently in the next playthrough of the game... I'm all light now since the screen lit up. Apparently in the next playthrough of the game we'll actually be able to beat that guy. How much for trading that last one? Are you prepared for to make the right deals? A gift from the angler? You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to this prospector before he was given a chance. That chance. What? This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. Seems the lily stink bud has made his way in. To what? But it is dealt, so it stands. Wait. Wait, what was this? Is this my deck? Oh, I see. So he's setting us up for the third run. All right, guys. So that's going to be all for now. Uh, maybe we'll go and we'll solve some of the other puzzles to get some cards in our deck for this third run. I'm very, very frustrating that... Uh, thanks, you guys, for actually telling me and telling us, the people watching this on YouTube, that it's actually impossible. Because that's a really, really frustrating thing when there's an impossible thing. But apparently now, the third time around, third time around, it's going to be, be the, tra the Trapper's going to be beatable. So... Uh, we'll do that next time. Thanks for uh, joining me for this really long two-hour video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm enjoying this game. Getting on my nerves, but I guess that's the idea. It's supposed to be annoying. I'll give it one more shot and see if we can actually progress a little bit more. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. This is Ryan.